Hello. Earlier on this week, Microsoft announced their new operating system, Windows 10. This is a blog post that's made on to a number of different news websites also. And they are also offering just now a, a technical preview, which is a, a beta version of the operating system for free, and you can install it on your machine. So by watching this video, you know, we're going to cover how to do that install. Well, one thing I'll say at this point is that the, the technical preview is, is likely going to have some bugs and, and problems with it. It's still very much in development. But if you'd like to have a, a play around with it, then I would suggest giving it a shot. You can install it in a virtual machine, or in this video I'm going to show you how to install it side by side your, your current operating system. Um, and on my machine I'm doing this on, on Windows 8.1. So, open your browser go to the address bar and if you can key in preview.windows.com this will take you to the, the technical preview site it looks as if it's going to start streaming a video there um, so we can start downloading and uh, the, the ISO so the, the disk image we can download that in this video I'm going to cover how to install that ISO onto a USB and we'll install Windows from the USB and I'll also demonstrate how to partition your, your hard drive within your current operating system so that you can install Windows 10 alongside Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 whatever else you're using without having a, a second hard drive so to get the ISO you're going to want to go to the, the preview.windows.com click the, the get started button here um, and just follow through the, the steps it's asking for. So I'm just going to do that just now. Okay. Once you get logged in to the site, scroll down. You should really read the, the sorry the disclaimer, and then select accept. Okay. So to do it now confirms you're an insider. Uh, we can then install the technical preview. So what we're going to do is go down here and you're going to select the, the disk image that's relevant to you. If your computer has more than 4 gigabytes of RAM, you're going to want to install the 64-bit the version. Um, I've got to be honest, if, if you didn't know that already, you maybe shouldn't install the, the technical preview. So I'm going to download the 64-bit the uh, image and I'll just stick it into my downloads folder. And then we'll have a look at... Um, how fast that's going so that's that's coming down at a, a healthy speed so that shouldn't take too long so while that's downloading we'll just let that run um, and then I'm going to show you how to download the the tool we're going to use to prepare a disk image uh, so you're going to want to go to wudt.codeplex.com and this is the the, the tool that we can use to take a, a Windows image and make a, a bootable USB from it. So I'm just going to download that and I'll put that into the same downloads folder. That technical preview is going to take about 20 minutes or so to download. I'll just pause this video and we'll come back once the, the download here is done. Okay, those downloads are done. What we now want to do is open up um, your downloads folder and install the USB Windows installer tool. I'm just going to close that down just now. Okay, for now we're just going to prepare the USB. So insert a blank or a spare USB to your machine. And then what I'd recommend doing just now is just going to your computer screen and just formatting the, the USB. I'll just do a quick format just to wake off anything that's on there just now. Okay. And then you want to open the, the download tool that you installed. Now I've got the icon on my desktop, so I'm just going to open that. The first thing we're going to do is pick the ISO file. So I'm just going to go to my downloads folder and select the Windows 10 technical preview ISO. Going to go next. And it's now asking what type of device I want to install to. 
so I'm going to say USB device if you were burning to a DVD disc you could do so this way it then asks you to pick the, the USB device and as you can see I've only got the one you need to select the sorry, select option to begin to copy and this is going to confirm it's going to erase all the contents from the USB ok and again what that's now going to do is going to wipe the USB blank it's then going to copy the files from the Microsoft disk image and it will copy them onto the USB it will then make the USB a bootable, a bootable device on its own so that you can boot to that and install Windows I'm going to again pause the video and we'll let that run Okay, that's the USB stick prepared for install of, of Windows 10 technical preview. What I'm now going to do is show you how to shrink your volume and we uh, we can create a new partition to use with, with Windows 10. Okay, next we're going to shrink the volume. To do that, we want to access computer management. Now, you can, on Windows 7, if you click on the start button, and then select search for computer management you'll, you'll find it there on Windows 8 or 8.1 just go down to the bottom left of the keyboard right click and then select computer management from the menu that pops up when this comes up from the left hand side select disk management and then once in disk management you'll then see the two drives so I can see my primary hard drive and I can see the, the USB I've got connected in on the primary hard drive you can see that 350 megabytes is reserved by the system and then we have the, the kind of larger partition here that I have set up which is 930 gig for the, well that's my, my Windows 8.1 is installed in there. I'm going to right click on that and then select the option for shrink volume. And then it's going to ask the, the amount of space to shrink in megabytes. Now, I'm just going to put in uh, 20,000 megabytes, which is about, you know, it's, it's not far off 20, 20 gig, which is more than enough for installing this, this preview in and playing around with. And then you can see that this volume is going to shrink to, you know, 933,000 megabytes, which is still, you know, 9 gig, or nine, nearly 900 gig of space for. Um, for Windows 8.1. So once you're happy with the value you put in there, just press shrink. And this next step might take a bit long. It depends on your machine, how fragmented your hard drive is. On mine, you can see it's actually went pretty well. Um, didn't take long at all. So what I'm now going to do is, is just right click on here uh, and select a new simple volume. I'm going to give it a, so I'm quite happy with the size it predicts. I'm going to give it the drive letter, I think, uh, F, yeah, so I'll give it drive letter F. And then what I'm going to do here, when it asks to format the volume, I'm just going to say don't format this volume. I'm going to format the volume once I install Windows 10, the technical preview. It's going to say next and finish. And then I can see I now have an F drive, and that will then show up also on my computer, F. But you can see that there's no space or anything shown because of the drive hasn't been formatted. If I try and open that, you'll see what happens. It tells me I need to format before I can use it. So I'm just going to cancel that just now. So this is given an error. I can't access an unformatted drive. So I'm pretty happy with that just now. The next step then is to, to shut down the machine, boot from the USB we've prepared, and then commence the install of, of Windows 10 technical preview. Um, I'm going to change to a camera, and I'll record that from there. So for now, just shut down your machine.